Alrighty, we are going to prime the plastic surface primer to my light gray. This stuff is not cheap. But I like it. What we are also going to do, because I've got small parts that like to blow away, got some blue painters tape here from previous house painting projects. I don't use a spray booth. I've thought about buying one or making one. But that's just something else I'd have to store. So I just use boxes. I think this is the box that this came in. Make a loop of tape, put it down, gives you a nice sticky surface, like the rearview mirrors. I like to prime all surfaces. These are the uh, front valance spoiler pieces. And there's the rear spoiler itself. Everything else should be heavy enough to stay in place. So a little bit more before we started here, but we're getting this live. White coats. Just like that. I'll go over it a couple more times. Maybe when, uh, yeah, I was gonna say maybe I'll show uh, flipping them over and spraying them, but you get the idea. That's about all I do. I'll probably do this two or three times and then flip everything over two or three times on the other side. Give it a good once over, make sure I got even coverage, and then uh, I think we'll be ready for, for uh, body paint. I usually start with the bodies. That's that's what I, that's, that's what most people see. But, uh, when the sun goes down and it gets cooler and dark and late, and I have to turn the volume down on the radio, is when we'll work on the uh, interior pieces and the motor and all that stuff. So this is what you're getting for now. Alrighty, I think we're going to go ahead and uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll show you the uh, end results of the prime, and then we'll uh, stop this video. So. It'll take me a couple hours to work through this because I'll go do other things too in between. So, we'll see you in a bit. Alrighty, we're all primed up and looking good. Another benefit of doing light coats with this primer is if you get little blemishes in it, and I do get a lot around here, you just kind of brush them out and they come right off. It's a nice smooth coat. Looks pretty good. So we're going to flip everything back over and paint the undersides first. Put my sticky tape. This way I can get the bottoms of the rockers, the inside the wheel arches. And then flip the bumpers over. So we can get the insides of those. Flip the hood over there and drop it on the ground. No damage apparent. So. I think we're going to have to do another piece of tape for the small bits here. This is not the box this came in because I was thinking if I've had this one for a while I've used it for quite a bit of spraying. Piece of tape, just make a big old loop, put the joint on the bottom. Back sides first. Put 
Tamaya. Where's it at? It's right here somewhere. TS 14 Black. Don't really need to concentrate on the bottoms because we're going to be sorry, but we're going to do it anyway. best conditions to be painting right now is there's a little bit of a breeze blowing but let that cure up hit her again so I think we're just going to uh, probably end this one here I'll uh, nah, we'll paint it all black and then I'll show you what it looks like and then uh, we'll do a separate video for the two-tone so alrighty well, back in a little bit Alrighty, well, she's all painted black. Uh, didn't hit the record button when I flipped the body and everything over, but uh, it's not perfect. It's got some blemishes in it, but it'll work for my purposes. So, halfway decent shine. We're going to clear coat it too afterwards. So, it's been sitting out here for a little while, so it's actually all dry. But the day is ending. It's after 8 o'clock. We're going to start winding down. Start moving indoors. So uh, we're going to end this little segment and pick it up. Uh, we'll do the two-tone later. Uh, with the decals and all that and the clear coat. Uh, I think tonight we're going to move on to uh, body and chassis. So that'll be a whole separate series. Uh, we'll catch you in that one. So we'll talk to you all later. Bye-bye.